So this is how you create templates in Obsidian. So the first thing that you want to do is go to settings and in the options category over here, you go down to core plugins, click that and then scroll down until you get to templates and make sure templates is toggled to on. Now close out of here and then you create a folder. So you can call that templates. I'm going to call that templates one since I already have a templates folder. And then, so in this folder, you can, you basically create notes, but then those notes become your templates. So you create a new note, drag that into the folder. Let's title this template number one. And then here you can type anything you want in this template. And then that becomes what's inputted whenever you use this template. So what I like to do is I start off with my tags. So I have two types of tags that I use. I use status tags and content type tags. Um, status tags I use, um, I got this from a Obsidian creator named Brian Jinks. And so I use seedling, growing and evergreen, which just shows how fully flushed out is this note. Um, so seedling, so I usually put seedling as my template on the template and then I can change that as I flush out the note. Um, and then here, so however you organize your content types, I do it, I keep mine very simple. It's basically, I have like how to, definitions, um, my learning, uh, why, like if I'm explaining why something is a good idea. Um, and, then, and then from here you do, you can create your heading and then different categories that you know you're gonna want to talk about in all of your posts um, that use that template. And so you can basically add as much as you need. And so this is a template. Okay, so then what you do is you go back to settings and you scroll down here to plugin options and you go down to templates and then it says template folder location. So just make sure that this is the template folder that you called templates. So I have two now because I have my original one and the one I just created for the demo. So I could switch this to templates one and then now I would be using the template that I just created. So now if I go to a new note, which is not in the templates folders, just a regular note, then I'll just call this a regular note. And then instead of starting from a blank page, I can input that template. So you go here and you click um, insert template, which should be on the left hand column now. So insert template, and then it automatically inserted the one template I have. If you have more than one template, it'll give you an option of templates, but see, this is the basic template, but now I can, now I can change anything on this note, um, but the template will stay as it was before. Okay, I hope that helped. And um, yeah, let me know.